So hello guys welcome back to the channel a lot of you guys are facing issue on this lab so here is the updated solution for it so first of all click on start lab and then after that open the console incognito window and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel so now here just click on i understand and just select i agree and then click on agree and continue like this and after that you have to just activate the cloud shell so just click on it and activate the cloud shell so here you have to just click on continue and just authorize yourself so just click on continue so now in the description box of this video i shared one github repository you have to just copy it from here and just paste over here so just paste it now here the problem lies sometimes the zone is automatically set but sometimes you have to export the zone from here so just copy the zone from here and just paste on any notepad just replace the extra content make sure the zone is like this and if you want to get full score make sure to do do as i am doing so just now this will take at least 15 to 20 minutes sometimes up to 10 so just wait after that we'll be executing the next step here as you can see the link is now active we have to just open this and enable the flow logs so i will share the steps how you can enable it so let's proceed together so now here wait for the page to open basically here we have to just select the default subnet from the lab region so here is the region just copy it carefully and if you are unable to find i will show you how you can so first of all click on subnet and on the search box you have to just paste this region so when you will paste this region and hit enter or just click over here you will get this default just click on it and now here you have to just click on edit and as you can see flow logs just turn it on and after that no need to do anything just save it so a lot of you guys are facing issue on this lab and particular zone so just try to start the lab in the same zone in which i am doing because i haven't faced i have done this lab 10 times so now open the logs explorer just follow the way i'm doing now here remove the unwanted pop-up and just run the query so you have to just run this query so if you are unable to get any output like this what you need to do you have to just wait for few more seconds and just retry after some time so just after a few seconds as you can see here we have got the output in the results then only you have to just go to more action and create a thing otherwise if you don't do like this you will be getting unnecessary error you won't be able to complete the lab so now wait for the page to load here copy the sync name paste over here now here you have to select the big query data set and we'll be creating the data set so just click on create new data set and for the name here it's mentioned us underscore floor underscore log so just copy the name carefully and just paste over here on the data set id just click on create and now you don't have to make any other modification just create sync it will take few seconds to load after that we'll be opening bigquery so how will you open the bigquery i will show you no need to worry about it so so from here once these steps have been completed on the search box you can type or just click over here for bigquery this you can search and just open it now the bigquery page is open here you have to just 
open this here's flow logs and here a table table basically compute table will be visible so in case if not visible you need to just wait for some more time you can just refresh the browser and wait for some more time because if you are unable to see the table you won't be able to proceed for next step let me show you this is the table compute google apis dot com vpc flows and the project id basically so you can see this this is a table and it will take time to update again if you are unable to see just wait for some seconds and as you can see we got this now we have to just run the query so for running the query run this one basically click on this query and make sure you are in the middle basically you have to paste the content from select to from it should be in the middle of select and from as i did in this step so as you can see we got the output now when you hit check my progress you may get full score or sometimes you may not get full score so here is the way how you can fix it you have to just create the pod file delete the pod file and just recreate it first we need to update the pod file so go to the cloud shell session and paste over here now just delete the pod file so it will take few seconds so wait for it we have to just recreate the pod file so copy it Only after a few seconds it has been deleted now we have to just recreate the pod file and hit enter so as you can see here the pod file has been created now what we have to do go back to the lab instruction and hit check my progress for all the tasks and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it the main thing is that this lab is having issue so for that you can mail the quick lab support and apart from these it's working currently on this zone only so just refresh the browser window again and let's say the check my progress so it's taking some time so finally we got the score and we are done with the lab guys have a great day ahead